Raquel Laguna, Europa Press, Spain. So I would like to know first, Gina, what was the biggest challenge for you making this movie? The biggest challenge, um, you know, this this was a big jump. This was a place I wanted to get to and being able to make a big action drama. Um, it's one thing to have the desire and then you've got to do it. Um, so, but it was fun. I loved the challenge of it. I loved the bigness of it. I loved, you know, honestly, no matter how much money you have, you have to tell a good story first. And that kept me grounded, but more money gives you, you know, more time and bigger toys. And uh, I had an incredible crew um, that was supportive of the vision. So, I mean, I think the toughest thing is stamina. You're shooting for 63 days. That is a very long time uh, to, to, you know, stay focused and, and have a thousand questions a day. But um, I believed in this so much. I was so passionate about the story that that got me out of bed every day. So did you read, of course, the comic book where the movie is based? Tell me about it. What attracted you to them, to this series? Yeah, I'm, I, I love Greg Rucka, who created the, the graphic novel. I, I've read some of his prior work. And the fact his female characters are so different, especially in the graphic novel and comic book space. They're just complicated and badass. They're not hypersexualized. They're warriors. And I, I love that. And that excited me to be able to put female characters on screen that were warriors, that women could look up and see themselves reflected heroically um, in an organic way and in a fun way. I mean, I, I love that. And that, that excited me the most. And how was the experience of uh, filming in Europe? Yeah, I was, I was there for a very long time. Um, it was great. I mean, the crews there are amazing, amazing artists. And I had always heard that. But getting there and getting to experience that, it was it was great. This film is so global. I knew that I wanted to be shooting in the actual places that it took place to to have that authenticity, to have that scope and, and bigness. And so the fact that we had the money to go to all these different places, that was really, that was really great. I think the hardest thing was just being away from my family. Uh, that that was tough. And how was working with Charlize and the rest of the cast? Yeah, we have such a global cast. That was great. I wanted to cast actors who were true to the characters and uh, and have the authentic accents um, because that's what the story is. It's this group of warriors that come from all these different cultures and backgrounds, but they came together to protect humanity. I thought that that was such a beautiful conceit. And so to have actors from all these different walks of life, the fact that they all knew at least three, four different languages where, you know, Americans, we know one, two, maybe. Um, it's embarrassing, but it was beautiful because they, they would talk to each other as the characters would in all these different languages and share each other's language. It, it was just something that just naturally fed into the film and it was really cool to watch. Of course, the movie leaves like an open window for a sequel. Would you be willing to direct a sequel? You know, foremost, it, it is about the audience. If the audience wants to see more, um, Greg always envisioned this as a trilogy in terms of the graphic novel. I know where the story goes. So if, if an audience wants more, there's absolutely more story to tell. And you also, besides a director, you are a producer, a writer. What do you enjoy the most? What process of all of them are art, but what do you enjoy the most? I absolutely love directing. I write to direct. Writing is very hard. It's very lonely. Directing is so collaborative. Um, I, I, I love it. And producing is very tough. <laughs> so directing is my first love. Of course, the characters in the film are immortals. Mm -hmm. you ever think about immortality or even about death because everyone is going to die at some point. I mean, it's life. Do you think about these things a lot or not? Oh yeah, I, that's what I, one of the things I loved about the story because I myself and I'm sure almost everybody in the world at some point in your life has said, I wish I could live forever and not really understanding what that means. But for me, when I said that at the time, I thought about 
to be able to live without fear that you could really do anything and not have to worry about dying or death. And you think about all the things you would try if, if you didn't have that fear. But what the movie spoke to is the tragedy of immortality and what the reality of that would be. I thought that that was really heartbreaking and you understand how hard it would be, the loneliness to lose everyone that you love, to outlive everyone. So for me, I would actually love to be immortal for about 10 to 20 years um, and, then, and then I'm good. How important has been in your career uh, platforms like Netflix? And Netflix has absolutely changed the game. A film like this with two female leads in an action joint, there were very few studios that we could go to, whereas Netflix was actively looking for an action film with female leads. They have, uh, I mean, I would say more courage um, because they're not so worried about the box office. They can take more chances, not only on, on subject matter, but also directors as well. And you see the work that they've done Um, the fact that Roma got made by Netflix, that was, you know, his passion project and no studio would touch it. Thank goodness we have Netflix because we got to experience that film. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. You take care. You too. Bye. Bye. Raquel Laguna, Europa Press, Spain. Okay, so um, I would like to know first, what attracted you to this project in the first place? Yeah, I was really excited to work with uh, with uh, with Gina, uh, Gina Prince Bidewood, and um, you know uh, she made um, a few films that I've loved, and uh, uh, I saw Beyond the Lights fairly recently, a few years ago, and um, and I just really I, I loved it. So I was excited to 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 work with her. I thought that this cast was fantastic, and um, and I and I really engaged with this with this story. I thought that it was really exciting, fun story. It had all of this. Um, you know, there was a, like an, a, a layer underneath it of this kind of existential angst and, you know, philosophical questioning. And, um, and, I, and I really engaged with that. And I was intrigued by these characters as they are now and, and where they could go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a combination of so many things. Firstly, the script, then meeting Gina, then working out who else is going to be in it. And then, you know, it was, it was the biggest no brainer for me in, in, terms, of, in terms of that. Um, yeah, I, I was. I loved the combination of, of this script, both being action packed, but also being very complicated and uh, really not just one, but you know, many really detailed character studies of these people that are really bearing a lot of pain. Um, so it was it was a wonderful thing to be a part of. The movie talks about immortality. Have you ever think? like I would love to be immortal or live forever? Um, I may have thought about it. I mean, I don't know the uh, once upon a time. I don't think about it in, as a positive anymore. You know, um, it's, uh, I feel that there are too many, there are too many negative sides to the, to the idea. You know, I think that the, the real sort of beautiful thing about, about life and what makes it, you know, so kind of extraordinary is that it's, it's finite and so every moment is is precious and so uh, and that's what we more than anything need to re remind ourselves of you know long longevity is important but um, but I think there definitely needs to be a full stop somewhere along the way yeah I mean abs absolutely I think before the film I probably thought it's actually quite a nice thing to sort of keep going but um, after seeing the film when the when the credits roll you think oh, no not me. <laughs> Not me. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want that. Um, I just think the the weight of of seeing that much and of history repeating itself would just would just destroy you eventually. How would you describe your characters? And did you learn anything from your characters at all? Well, yeah. I mean, I think that I that I would describe my character as a as a as a as a you know a, um, a, a deep feeling person, you know, um, and I think that I consequently had a lot of empathy for this for this character. And um, I don't know if I what I learned exactly from uh, from Copley, but I do think that it was it was an interesting journey to work out whether I could sustain my empathy for him even amidst him doing things um, that were that compromised his own ethics and his own morality for what he perceived to be 
the greater good. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's interesting with Merrick in terms of when we meet him, I think we want to believe that he does want to do good, you know. And then, of course, as the film unravels, we realise that he just goes <laughs> to the absolute extremity um, of, of what he thinks he needs. Um, and I, as, I was, as I was playing it, I was wondering where the point, where the line is when he, that he crosses over into this dangerous territory. So that was sort of an interesting thing to think through when I was, when I was doing it. I, I couldn't really identify the, the moment at which I said, oh, he's gone now. He's, he's, um, his obsessed nature has just got the better of him. And how was working um, with Charlize Theron and also with Gina, the director? How is she as a director? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, both of them were um, brilliant to, to work with. And, you know, I was just very excited to work with, to work with Gina. And she, you know, she has this great, uh, she has a great personal quality, you know, but then the way that she deals with the interpersonal relationships, you know, which she's done in her other work as well, is really strong. So it never feels that it's, um, you know, it's an action film, it has all of that fun, but it's got these really developed characters and these really developed personalities and and emotions behind them. So, um, so that was great. And Charlize is sort of brilliant as an actress, but also this great uh, physical performer. You know, and um, and can really tell stories through her physicality as well, which is um, which is which is rare and a, and a definite skill. Yeah, I mean, Charlize was absolutely incredible. Um, her work ethic, not only acting in, in on you know in the scene with you, but then behind behind the scenes, she's sort of we're discussing how the how the how maybe the the scenes could could change slightly. Um, it was just she kept so many plates spinning all the time. It was uh, it was really really impressive. And Gina was just amazing again. So approachable, always there to to talk through any questions you had or anything you weren't too sure about. Um, so it was just a really lovely set to be on. Great, thank you so much. I love the film. Thank you so much. I hope for a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye, have a nice day. Bye-bye.